And we're back. It doesn't feel like five o'clock, but it is. If you forgot, time jumped ahead for some of us in the Midwest today. Or maybe all of us, I don't know. There are some states that don't change, right? Ramel is here in the studio and he is going to be sewing pajama pants. I just have to cover a few topics first. I sewed these pajama pants with the piping at the cuff and piping on the back pocket this morning for you and I recorded the whole thing. So this video for the lounge pant will launch probably in a couple of days. So if you want to make that pattern that we had in the shop, now it's gone, in flannel with me, you'll see that in a couple of days. When I was sewing it and reviewing it, I thought that's not probably the best pattern for somebody brand new. So I brought in another pattern called the Anna Pant, and it's on the main website, SewHungryHippie.com. This is what it looks like, and we have all size ranges, so pick up your size. I was able to sew these pants in about 20 minutes, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Well, I should have brought my chair over, Ramel, because they can't see my pants. Oh. Do you have that pink chair? No, I don't. It's right there. <laughs> can you grab it for me so I can show them? The Anna pant has front and back, and the waistband is already included right there in front. There's no piping, there's no cuffs, there's no separate waistband to fiddle with. So let me move these samples for a moment, and I'll show you these I just made about an hour ago. And this is in a rayon. And I did, instead of a drawstring waist, I did an elastic waist, and it's the signature method that I use, it's very, very easy. This is what I do. I like to wear pants under my dress. I do this all the time. Okay, see how the rayon is very flowy? It's not see-through, even though it's very thin fabric. And we just restocked this art gallery fabric today. So if you wanted that, it is back in stock. Ramel will be. Oh my gosh, Ramel. What? You could have done that before we went live. Ramel will be showing, will be sewing the Anna pant in flannel, like we promised, and we're gonna just keep it ultra simple. If it starts going long, so longer than probably forty-five minutes, we'll we'll cut the class and finish it next Sunday. Okay, right? Hi. Right. Yeah. Come on over a little bit. Oh, I'm, so, I'm on a chair here. Um, here's the height. You like this height? You, you needed to clarify that. I don't think people think you're this short. <laughs> no, I'm not, but <laughs> here, uh, here's me standing up here. Let, so it's just oh, cuts geez, off. Oh, geez, now. Okay. So just, okay. just wanted to make seat. sure. Take okay. a seat. All right, I'm here. Now, we want to review these pointers, okay? And I'm, I'm telling you this because it's important for you to know, but it's okay. also important for all of us to review. Sure. Number one, it doesn't matter if you mess up. Oh, I'm, I was ready for that. Okay. Yeah. This is not, we're not building the space shuttle. No. Nope, Everything nope. is okay. Sewing, you can always fix after the fact if you mess up, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're not gonna blow a gasket. No gasket will be blown. <laughs> Number two, this is your first time. Yeah, I didn't, you know, we did this on purpose because... You've never sewn before, I don't think. Nope. Okay, so I have some fabric laid out for him and he's going to cut it out. He's going to sew everything on my Bernina 1008, which is an entry-level machine. We're not going to be surging today. I decided to nix that. If you do not have a serger, I would love for you to cut it out with pinking shears. In fact, maybe I'll make you do that instead of the rotary cutter. That might be a safer option. Okay, but I'm, am I still going to use that to cut this? No. no, that's what I just, you need to listen. Uh, okay. If I'm your right. teacher, you got to open up those ears. Got the ears. You're going to cut it out with pinking shears. I'm going to open it. a brand new pair for you. Oh. This, this will be Ramel's shears, Capiche? Very, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Okay. All right, All right. so everyone just take a breath. 
And if you're sewing with us, gather your materials. We're going to Sharpie these Ramel. Ooh. Ramel's. Can I use it for other stuff after this? No. No. I'm, I'm just asking. I'm just <laughs> this asking. This is for fabric only, Ramel. See how okay. they're jaggedy edge? They're pretty cool looking. So these have a jaggedy edge, and that will help reduce fraying on the fabric if you can't mm. do um, a serged seam. And we do not want to mess with French seams or a Hong Kong finish or any special seam techniques. We're just trying to make the pant, and that's it. What's a Hong Kong finish? It's a, it's a seam treatment. Okay, but we're not going to get into that because when okay. you're just starting out, the hardest thing is to just do it. Just stop analyzing, stop thinking about it, stop talking about it, and just do it. And if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. You can sew another pair. You, the yeah. part of the learning that is best is when you're doing, when you're taking action. So, on that note, Let's do this. All right. Let's, okay. Let's We're going overhead. All right. So I can, so I can this, stand now. You got to back out that camera, huh? Oh, boy. I had it you, correct. You know. So go back it out. Oh, boy. Go back it out. Oh, it's boy. Way too tight of an image. Oh, boy. Ramel, come on now. I'm just saying. There you go. Okay. So his fabric is on the table here, double layered. This flannel is mammoth flannel. And the cool thing about it is there's not really a right or wrong side. So at the end of the day, when you're sewing this together, it doesn't matter. However, it does matter for pants. So sometimes what I like to do is bring in a friction pen or even tape. And on the wrong side, I make a W somewhere. Okay. Now, what you're going to do, you already have these pattern weights on the item. Thanks for doing that. You're making sure that it's straight with the selvage here. So this arrow needs to be parallel to the selvage down okay. here. Okay. All right. And then you're just going to take your pinking shears. I'm going to do the top edge and you're not going to freak out about being microscopically accurate. You're just going to cut this pattern piece out. We're making a 20 size 20 for Ramel because this is not technically a man's pattern, but it doesn't have to be because it's a PJ pattern. So I took some measurements and did some Googling and Ramel's body size is somewhere around a women's 20. So we yeah. are, that's what we're doing and we're gonna hope for the best Yeah. and hope there's room for the jewels. So continue cutting. Okay, so let me, adjust the camera one, just one more time. Oh Lord, you have to make sure that that's on automatic. Well, I'm... So that it's not so zoomed in. Well, I thought I was going to do that, so... Okay, here we go. Okay. Keep going. Okay, I'm going to keep going, so... All the way down, you're cutting two pieces of fabric at once. With a pant, it's really important that you're cutting mirror images. So I always fold my fabric so I'm not cutting two legs in the same way, if that makes sense. I hope it does make sense. Wow, look at me. How Good far, job. Yeah. How far? You can, you can switch to over here if that's not comfortable leaning over the table. Uh, yeah, I can go either direction, right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. well, that's nice. Let's go. Want me to move the sewing machine? No, nope, that's totally fine. Got that part. Now I'll just go yep. over here. All right. Do, is, there's a fold here. Is it, are these lines supposed no, to be there? No, this is fine. Just cut okay. it across the bottom there. Okay. That is the front pant. It says cut one pair main. That's what I was just talking about. I also have some fabric over here for the back pant. So we'll do all this again, cutting out the back pant. I think I dorked it up now. You didn't dork it up. It's fine. Just a little. That's okay. Okay. All right. Let's go back overhead. Let me do it. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> I thought you were going to fix that. Just keep cutting. Yeah. yeah and just, uh, just click on this guy right here, and then just hit that. 
Um, all right, here we go. This is probably the easiest part because I don't have to reach over. So feel better about it. Now I'm uh, I'm cutting not too close to the paper, but does it matter? Well, you usually want to cut as close to the paper as you can okay. because we're cutting your size out. Okay. But these are lounge pants, so it, it's not going to matter. I like if the breathing If they're a little baggy, room. who cares? I love baggy. Yeah. So this is going to work out for me. We're also not going to be critical on anything that you're doing because this is your first sew. Oh, thanks. And you're cause... just, you're building confidence. That's the whole point of this. Yeah. Okay, so no, now... I don't feel comfortable about that. Can I just cut that yeah, little you piece? Can... Okay. Here, let me pull it. Okay. Just, okay. It's just this little guy here. All right, here we go. Bam. Okay. Cool. Awesome. So we want to look around and see if we need to do any notching. It looks like right here you have a notch. Okay. So I would take a flat scissor and just come in and you do a little snip. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so then let's come up here. There's a little snip here. Now these are different. This one. Oh, the, the, the outermost one is your size. Okay. Okay, that's it. Oh, this cool. is a very, very simple pant. So before we move this to another table or the floor, put a pin in it hmm. and go like this. And here we are. So now, now what we want to do is another length of fabric, which I've pre-cut for you right here. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> and just make sure it's straight. Sometimes with fabric, you have to give it another iron or a press because mm -hmm. you don't want to be cutting wrinkles out. Yeah. Um, it can just mess up things. Things don't fit as nicely. Okay, so our edges are meeting. Here's your pattern piece for the back. Note how the the curve here is much deeper. Yeah. That's how you know that's the back of the derriere. Uh, oh. Okay. Is that a name? Derriere? Yeah. yeah, I think it's French for buttocks. Yeah, that does sound derriere to me. Derriere? It sounds derriere to you? Yes. <laughs> Let's pull it down a little bit. Okay. Let's make sure that your arrow is parallel with the selvage. Okay. This is your selvage. So I don't, I, I don't have to worry about this edge because it, it's kind of fold over like this. It's just the arrow needs to line up. Okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. And now you're going to so, cut out these two legs. Same thing. Huh? Yep. All right. Uh, you want to do the camera thing? Yeah, I'm going to. Don't okay. worry about it. No, 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 no. Here we go. This is cool. Oh, yeah, you did it. Maybe we should just switch. I mean, you're, you're running the camera stuff, and I'm oh, just... Oh, you want to do the sewing tutorials from now on? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That, that'd be kind of That means you needed to be here at 9.30 this morning filming the previous uh, I'm not a morning guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't, don't you know that about me? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, now it's easier the second time. And the reason we're using the pinking shears instead of a rotary is because you're not using the serger. I just wanted to say that again in case every, anyone is coming in late. This is my method when not treating the seams with a special finish. done like this curve thing so okay it's all right I'm gonna Just do your best let's see how that turns out don't have to rush either it's fine oh I thought if I rush a little bit maybe don't rush me remember that song oh yeah I love that song 1987 let me move this out of your way okay Is 
surface, another curve here. Pull it towards you a bit, stop. Oh. There you go. Make it work for you. Don't hurt your back leaning over like that. Well, you just saved my back now. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll do the same thing, right? Yep, go ahead. Oh, that's cool. Here we go. Good job. Bam. Look at that. All right. It's just beautiful. So now you have got your front legs. You, what do you have to do next? Do you remember? I got to do my snip. Your so notches, yeah. notches. Yes. So there's one right here. Yep. I don't think that kicked in yet. Don't make it too, too deep. Too deep. Okay. All right. I won't. I won't. This is the other notch, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. There you go. Okay. Notch. Oh, did we write the wrong side? No, we didn't. Good catch. Huh. So, yeah, so I was paying attention that. the first time. Yeah, you were. Wrong. Yeah. I just do a W. It's easier to see that way. Okay, so now you can move your pattern weights. Okay. And what we're going to do is put this to the side. Okay. And you're going to take each pant. This is the back pant, remember? The derriere. The derriere. derriere. The, yeah. So we want to make sure that we're laying it a mirrored image. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. Let me go overhead. Okay, so I'm going to move that out here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Where's the clicker for that camera, the remote, so that we can just do it from here? Oh, uh, there's none. Oh, we're now. Yeah. Come on. Why is it such a tight finish then? That's how you wanted it one time, and Ugh. I said it that for you. That doesn't mean in cement for all eternity. <laughs> I think I threw in that disclaimer. No, you didn't. And did you're not. like, sure, sure. Just do it. No. So I, I did. I'm like, okay. Okay. So now we're going to take one of the front legs and you're going to lay it on here. How do you think? Uh, the, so that would be wrong size on the inside, right? No. But right, mirror. right sides together. Right sides together. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I meant. So what you're matching is from this corner down to the bottom here and we're going to be sewing this. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to have you pin this in place. Yes. And don't worry about this not being perfection up here. Just get it as close as you can. Yeah. And when you're pinning, you want to start up here. This is how I want you to pin today so that you can easily remove the pins as you're sewing. And you put as many as you need in there, okay? All right. So from watching your videos a few times. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, yeah, I do. I do have to edit the videos after all. I do see you putting it like every few inches. So, there we go. Try not to stab myself. Okay. I don't want to do that. Uh, huh? I see you're lining up the machine for me. Yep. Thank you. Well, if I get this kind of help, I can sew every day. Shoot. Well, the next step is you're on your own. Oh. Okay. And then you have the third time you have to do what I do, which is sew, work the pedals, adjust the cameras, talk, all the things. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now what you're going to do, oh, I really should have had you pin on the other side. This side, you mean? No, no, like this, so that all the fabric, uh, you see what I mean? Because when you're on that machine, yeah. you really want to see your pins. You never, ever sew over pins. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay never. Never. Ever. And I, and I couldn't sew that other side like that. 
Well, you can, just... but all the fabric gets caught in the throat. Yeah. And it's it's just harder to wield, so why not kick it off the easier way? Make it easier, okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm almost done, and I'll have you begin. Okay. So, so. And you know what? We're not going to worry too much mm. about the way you're doing it, so I want you to just do be comfortable the way you're doing it. When you're starting... We're going to start with the needle down. This machine does not have an automatic needle down. Okay. So you always, when you turn this hand crank, you always do it towards you, never away from you. I'm doing it towards me. Okay, down into the fabric. Leave it there. Okay. That's where you're going to start. Otherwise, you risk losing your threads. Oh. And it's just a pain in the butt. You don't want, you know, yeah. it's not the end of the world. I, but I, I don't like pain in the butt. Now, one thing you have to be cognizant of we're going to go to a straight stitch where our regular tension, we're at a three millimeter stitch length. That's good. Okay. This doesn't have any automatic speed control, so your speed is how hard you're pressing the pedal. Okay. All right. It's just I like want, driving a car. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to stop and start as much as you need to. Nobody's okay. judging you. Mm. I want you to keep the edge of this foot on the edge of the fabric. That's your seam allowance today. Okay. That, so you're where not, it's at right now. Yeah. Yeah, you're not watching the needle. You're watching this. Yes. Okay. Got it. So you want to keep your foot there. Okay. The other thing is every time you come up to a pin, at le at the very least, pull it back like this. Mm -hmm. Or you can take it out. You can set it on the table and I'll grab it or you can put it in the tomato. All right. On the tomato. Nice. All okay, right. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, that's cool. Are we going to do the, the end game? Oh, the over, over the shoulder? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, there look at that. Are. Ha, 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 ha. All right, here we go. Remember to keep um, towards the edge. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Don't pull on the fabric. Let, it, let yep. the bead dogs do it. Good job. Right. Every time you this. stop, try to have the needle down in the fabric. Yep. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to turn the light off. Perfect. You're a natural. Mm. I don't know about that yet. Gotta get through this, this part first. <laughs> There you go. Yep, that's what I do. I just tap the pedal till it's yeah. back in. Yeah, we'll figure that one. That's cool. Oh. Yeah, really, you don't have to do anything. It just, it just yeah. feeds itself. Yeah, and that's how it should be. You shouldn't have to push or pull. That's usually when you get a needle break. Go all the way off the fabric. Uh -huh. All the way off the fabric. All the way off? Yes. I'm off the fabric. No, you're not. Like right Take there? off your shoes. <laughs> Take off my shoes. Yeah, so you can't, this is not, we just sew right off the fabric. So, Oh. like this, okay? Oh. And then you're going to lift your foot back here. Okay. And this is a machine where you have to pull it out. Yes. And then... Here's our needle cutter yeah. back, I, yeah, sorry, right back there. here. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, you want me to take my shoes off? Well, you're, I don't know if you know when you're hitting the pedal. Oh, I do know when I'm hitting you, the pedal. Oh, okay. I just don't want to. All right. Do what you want then. I'm just here, uh, complete blank okay. brain, just listening. All right. So now we've got this piece. See how we've got... A deep curve on the right, a shallower curve on the left. Oh, Hit wow. the overhead, please. Sure. The overhead. There we go. Oop. No. Here we go. What's happening? So, yeah. This one is the one I want. There you go. Okay. So this is what the pant 
looks like right now. So one thing with flannel, it can be easy to do this exact thing twice, and we don't want to do that. We want to make sure it's a mirror image. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when we're sewing this pant together, I want to make sure that this is on this side matching this crotch curve, and this one is on this side matching this crotch curve. Okay? okay. Yeah. And I know this is the wrong side. Yeah. So I'm good. It'll be right sides together. So what I do is then I take these two pieces and then I know I'm pinning them correctly. And let me show you something else that I forgot to show you last time. Yeah. See these notches? Yes. Look how they're matching up. Oh, that's cool. Then you know you're, you're doing good. You're doing it great. You want me to pin it now? Yep, you okay. can pin it now. Make sure everything's flat. And there you go. Look at that, just, bam. <laughs> it's like cooking, at least to me when. Well, yeah, just following directions, you know. A recipe is the same thing as a pattern. Really? You just go step by step. Some, some like, sometimes I like to throw in some creative flavors when I'm making, cooking some chicken. Sure, but you're going to follow the pattern on this one, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Except for the drawstring, we're going to do an elastic waist because it's faster and it's no nonsense. And we don't have time to be messing with eyelets tonight. Okay. Maybe next week we'll come back and show people how to adapt it and do the drawstring waist. Mm. Okay, these two are diff like very different here. Yeah, that, because this is the back pant and this is the front pant. So remember, you're just sewing right here. Oh, okay. All right. So just pin up here. Okay. And then if you need another pin, you can put one yeah, there. Yeah, I think I'm fine. That's a lot of pins. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a beginner, remember? Yeah, and that's totally fine. So again... Right now, you're just going to take this over to the machine, mm -hmm. and usually you want the bulk of the fabric on the left. Yeah. So just like before, stop anytime you need to, pull out your pins, don't sew over your pins, All go right. at your own speed. All right, try not to stab myself. Yeah. There we Rem go. So remember to put your foot down. Here, let nope, me... not yet. Well, it's, uh, it's, no. Okay, you can roll that up. Towards you. Towards yep. me. There you go. And then put your fabric in, and then you've got to manually put your foot down in the back. Yep. Just like that. Exactly. Remember, the outer edge of the foot is at the outer edge of the fabric. Yeah, I'm going to bring this down. Yep. Ooh, look Good at job. That. Okay. Here we go. Are we doing it? Yep. Do I'm going to, okay. I'll, I'll adjust it. I forgot. All right. Oh, that one wasn't even in the way. Mm -hmm. But I took it anyways. Like these are not in the way. Look, I'm taking the pins off at the same time. Ooh, you're Ooh. now an advanced beginner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Remember to keep it over here, even with the foot, if you can. Mm-hmm. All the way off. Just like that. And no, all the way off. You're not all oh. the way off the fabric yet. Now, let's push the pedal and I'm going to move this lever up and then your lock stitch. You see that? Ooh. That's great to do. Okay, so now you can lift your foot in the back and pull it out. Why didn't we do that before? Because I forgot. Oh, okay. But whatever. The seam gets sewn again, so it's not 
a big deal. A big deal. Okay. If the seam gets sewn twice, I don't worry too much about it. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, that looks really nice. Good job. So if we were very, very meticulous right now, I would have you go to the ironing board and press these seams open. Mm. Do you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's... That's what you Is it should do. Bother me. If I'm no, wearing probably it. not. But no. it'll look better. It always looks better when you press. Okay. Lots of pressing is in sewing, and some people skip it, like I do sometimes, mm. and then I regret it later. Yeah. But let's just plug in this Aliso, fire it up. Fire it up. Okay. It's on high heat. That's that's what I use. Here, I'll, I'll do this. I know you will. I'm just setting you up. Setting me up for success. Yep. All right. Hmm. This is this is cool. Yeah. So I just okay. open it, right? Open the seam, press it with your fingers, and then if you drive this way, can I show you something? So the point of the iron, if you drive it like this, mm -hmm. it's faster. See that? Okay. More efficient, I should say. You don't have to be fast, but sometimes efficiency, good habits build efficiency. So I wonder if I switch to view three, if it'll no, show it, you. No, it won't. No? Okay. No. So he's just pressing the seams open right now on the pant leg, and it's a very good step to do. Uh, I don't think the directions say that, but it's because she thinks you know that you should do that. And then we're going to sew those U's together. Super easy. I love making pants this way. How's everyone doing? Yeah, I haven't checked the comments yet. No, you're busy. Yeah, I'm busy. Sorry. And I don't know how to do that. Sorry. So there. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to show them this and you get that one going. Oh, OK. So this is nice and flat. I'm going to lay this on the sewing table for the next step. I think we're going to get the whole pant done. Really? Yeah. Wow. So this thing is that easy? Yeah, it's that easy. People, well, you know, it, it's just in your mind because you've never done it. It feels hard when you talk about it, but it's really not. Okay, how, how many guys would want to make their own PJ oh. pants? Well, everyone. Imagine you could just pick out whatever fabric you want. And you can do it in different styles of fabric. Remember, my PJ pants are in rayon, and they look a little fancier, right? Hmm. Think you could wear that all summer and be so nice and cool. You could add patch pockets. You can add inseam pockets. I can show you how to do that. It's so easy. Or you can just Google it. So this one is so easy that the next time I ask you to make something for me, you just tell me, go make it yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I could. I could now that you know. Yeah. <laughs> Go make it yourself. Sew your own, Ramel. <laughs> Me Made May is well, coming up. Uh, I just might. All right. All right. It's, it's iron. All Got right. It. So the next step is we're, I'm just trimming a thread on my brand new pants I was oh. stepping on. So the that next. That one's flat. Huh? That one's flat. It's looking good. Yes, I'm going to take it overhead. Can you do the overhead camera? Overhead? Because this part is really important. Okay. Don't, pr don't put another pants on there. No, I won't. Okay. okay. Uh, I won't. Ready? Yeah. Uh, no, you don't have it yet. Yeah. No, no, you do. Okay, so this part, this is flat. Do you see the deeper curve, the derriere curve? Yeah. Which, which side is it? It's on the left. Yes. So this, these two that we just sewed, we have to make sure that we're matching the derriere curves. Oh. See? So we're going to lay them like this. Look, it's correct. Wow. And the most important thing is right here. Uh -huh. You want to make sure that this is matched and you put a pin there. Oh, that's my dud pin. I have to throw that one in the sharps container. So I pin that first and then I come on up over here. And now you're going to pin all the way. And then we sew that. Just like that. Just like that. 
man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's uh, sorry, I'm trying not to get in front of the camera. You're fine. They can okay. see. Oh, they can see? Okay. Well, if I'm gonna be doing this and then you're gonna run the cameras, yeah. then I need to learn. You know, actually, I need to bring it over here. Yeah, so you do. Easier. Bring it towards you. Don't lean. Yeah. Why are they making it hard for me? And I'll just get this side. The next step in advanced sewing is matching up your plaid stripes. But you know what? We don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I don't, I don't just don't care about that. But um, some people get in a tiff about it. So maybe the next one, huh? We'll show people how to line those up. But that's like how you cut it out and then how you pin it together. And it's a whole thing. Do I need to be close, right? That's right great. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Now it's kind of pulling down, so that's why your tabletop is important. So pull it up for you so it's supported. Oh, okay. There you go. Hmm. I'm going to move that cord so there's no, right. you know, there's no OSHA so I don't violation. Trip. Okay. So well, now I still have the chair for of death there. Yeah, you do. So now it's this big U. Nice. And you're just going to sew the smiley face. Sew the smiley face. I yeah. Kinda, I kind of got that when I was pinning it. Yeah. So there you go. All right. Have so at it. The chair of death. It's this chair that if I, if I get up, it'll just slide under me. Yeah. It'll just shoot, bolt. It's <laughs> awful. Yeah. So if you start on this side, it might be easier on this oh, end. Oh, okay, okay. And then you'll just take it. Oh, you know, it's, I almost did it the other way, so. And it would have been okay, but it would have been a little more difficult. Okay, here we go. Yep, and so. then what you're going to do is you'll go forward and then lift this up and go backwards a little bit what? and then forward. I'll tell you. Just start sewing. Okay. Now stop. <laughs> now you're going to press your pedal again and you're, this, you're lock stitching. Ooh. Okay, remember to keep that even with the outside of the fabric. That is so cool. Okay. Here we go. I need the tomato. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hold on, just, there you go. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, I can feel the thing poking me right now, but it's okay. I can handle, I can manage. What's poking you? The needles. The pins, you mean? Yeah, the, the oh. pins. So I'm feeling it coming, coming oh, out. Oh, sure, yeah. That's okay. No pain, no gain, right? You can also use Wonder Clips if you want to next time. I yeah. like pins with fabric because it feels a little more secure to me. I usually only use the clips with vinyl, but... Mm -hmm. Here's the important part, right? Yeah, so over this crotch area, this gets a lot of stress. So we're going to sew over it. Uh huh. Stop. And we're going to go back. And then we're going to go forward again. Wow, just like that. Just like that. Okay. No pulling. No, no pulling. I'm not pulling at all. Good. Not pulling at all. Just trying to get it on the side. That's that's a tricky part. That's all right. You're doing fine. Do I do that little funny thing here at the end? Yep. Can I try it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did I do it right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. Good job. Sweet. Look at that. Good job. <laughs> oh, I need so to take out all your pins. Sometimes I just do a quick check and make sure. Hmm. So now we've got that U sewn. So now is the really fun part. You pull it apart 
and it's starting to look like pants. Wow. Now we oh. have to we have to fold it right sides together. So I always put it on the table and what I do is bring it up to match the middle seam there. We don't sew that yet, but it helps to match that seam and put a pin or a clip just to hold it in place for you because yeah. you don't you're not an octopus. Yeah. And then you can see the pant take shape. Wow. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pin down the sides and yeah. sew, pin down the side and sew, and we're almost finished. We do the elastic and we're, we're done. You can hem the bottoms and yeah. we're done. Hey, that's cool. Isn't that cool? That is super cool. All right. So I'll take the camera overhead. All right. And I just want this supported on the table for you. Okay. You line up those side things. I will things. line up those side things. Here we go. Pin, pin. Are you going to help me? Yeah. It's because I'm slow. I'm no, gonna... you're not slow. Uh, it's okay. We just don't want I'm... people falling asleep, that's all. Okay, I want sure. You're not slow, Ramel. Don't say that out loud. Okay, I'm not slow. No. I'm just... Progressively faster. That's what it is. <laughs> I like that. So you could sew that and then come back and pin this one. But since we're here, why don't we just look these notches, see how they line up. Oh, that's cool. So I did get that right. So these notches should be matching right here. Yep. And I like to often I'll pin that right away. Now, did we have some notches down here? I think we did. We might have. I don't remember. I thought there was one lower on the leg. Maybe not. Usually there is in a in a pant pattern, but there okay. you go. All right, here we go. I'll keep keep pinning. Okay. Just keep pinning. Just keep pinning. Oh, they can't see. They can't see the. They the, saw what you're doing. Oh. They want to see your face. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. Good job. All right. Good. So now you're going to sew those down. That's it. All right. One so the direction. One side at a time. Okay, one side at a time. And when you start, do the backwards thing again. Yeah. Put your foot down before you do that. Oh, okay. Okay. Because you almost lost those threads. Oh my okay. gosh. All right. So I'm going to do the thing. Forward. And back. Just like that? Or should I have done it? A yeah. Bit? So usually you want to lock stitch at the beginning, at the very beginning, uh -huh. so that it doesn't peel apart on you. But okay. it's okay. All right. You'll get there. All right. Look at me. Wait. What? Oh, you lost your thread. Yeah. Okay, so take it out. That's all right. Oh, I didn't do anything. Okay, so that you see what I when I said you almost lost your thread. I guess you did lose it. Oh shoot. So. Oh. Back up a little bit. I can try. It. Oh, you want me to put on the front camera? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, now it's threaded. Wow, you did that quick. All right. Okay, so let me show you what I mean on this up here. Here, let me just put the... Yep. Nope, wrong one. Here we go. So see how I'm not quite where they join yet? Uh-oh. Now what's wrong? There we go. So there's, I started, and then I lock stitch. Okay. And so it's on the very edge, so those don't pull apart on you. Gotcha. But that comes with time and experience. Sure. Okay. So there you go. All right. So let's see. There we go again.
Yeah, now it's there. Great job. It's a long seam, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So because people might be asking, we are using Guterman all-purpose thread, just like I do for bags. I love it. I'm using uh, a universal 80 needle. I have my regular foot on this machine. If you, yeah, is it good? Mm-hmm. Good job. <laughs> okay. Now you're going to do the other side. Okay. So you might want to do it this way. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try doing this one more time with that loosening the tra thread. Okay. Uh, let's see Just how Just put that your foot down first. Put my foot down. Putting my foot down. All right. Here we go. You're gonna give it a little speed there. Sure. No hurry though. I know, I just I can see how I can see how you like sewing. Or love sewing, that is. Now, if these end up being too big for you, the beauty about this is you can come back in and just take a bigger seam allowance and cut away the excess mm. in these seams, you see? Yeah. If the leg is too full, you just sew this seam right over again in a bigger, taking a bigger bite. Bigger bite. Yep. So it's very easy to fix. Oh, wow, I did both sides. Well, what about this guy? Yeah, you can take him out now. Okay. Okay, that was just so we saw the pants. So now hold him up. Whoa, almost fell. We're not going to turn them right sides out yet, okay? Because we're going to do the waist. I can see it's going to fit. Yeah? Yeah. I'm excited. So yeah. now instead of doing buttonholes and a drawstring cord, what we're going to do is an elastic waist. And this is my method for a very fast waist that's flat and feels great. I use this designer's choice elastic, which is very soft. I, I like it very much. Uh, it's not super hard. And uh, there's some elastic, you know, not all elastic is created equal. Okay. I have some in that bin that is just really rigid. And it doesn't feel good, yeah. even when it's, even when fabric is covering it. I don't like, like leave-in marks. Yeah, stuff. I don't want yeah, marks. No. So I use this. And what I do is we'll take this around your waist, and mm -hmm. then we're going to minus two inches. Minus two inches. And we'll sew the ends together. So let's do this. All right. So I'll just get this around me. Wherever you wear the top of your pants, and you don't want them to be falling down, so it's really important that you're not stretching the elastic. It's just... Flat. Uh, right there. Right about there? Mm hmm So you're right there. So let's cut it two inches smaller because it's going to stretch. Okay? That's it? That's it. Wow. I know this elastic, so I know how it's going to behave. Okay. 
Cool. If you don't know, you might want to thread your elastic through. So I do that now? No. Right now what you're going to do, there's lots of ways to bring ends of elastic together. But the way I like best is to overlap it by about a half an inch to an inch. And I put a pin in there. So let's go overhead and I'll show you this. I overlapped the elastic. I make sure that it's not twisted, okay? And then we're gonna zigzag stitch a couple of passes, okay? Okay. So when you zigzag stitch on this machine, you just take this up to about a two and a half and this down to about a two. That's, that's a good zigzag. That's a two there. Two? Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna put this in here just how you usually do when you sew. Mm -hmm. I'll take the pin out because the foot will hold this in place for you. Okay, and do, do Raise it. that needle. Okay, now you can lower the needle. There, now it's held so you don't need the pin. Do I do, I do that funny thing? Yes. Oh, okay. So hold on a second, let me get to the overhead. Okay, right. go ahead and go. Um, not at the start, you don't have to. Just sew and then reverse and then sew. Does that make sense? You don't have to do the lock stitch on this in the beginning. Okay. You're going to sew forward. Yeah. And then stop. Yeah. Lift your knob. Yeah. Sew backwards. Yeah. And then sew forwards again. I, I think uh, yeah, I'll figure it out here. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Lift your knob over there. Nope. You don't take it out. This knob. Lift it up. This one? Yes. Okay. And then press your pedal. You're going to go backwards now. All the way, all the way. Now, okay, now go forward again. Holy moly, look at that. Now let's see what the stitch looks like, since I can't see it very well. That looks great. That's a good one. Let's go backwards again. Backwards? Uh-huh. And go forwards. Wow, how many times do we have okay, to do Okay, that's good. Well, you want your elastic to be really connected because it's the worst if it comes apart. Your pants are going to fall down. Yeah, we, okay. we can't have that. Okay, so take it out. And the reason you want to do a zigzag stitch is if you do a straight stitch here, the stitches will pop when you take them up over your hips. And then you have an elastic fail. So a zigzag stitch allows that stretchy action. That's, that looks good. I ain't going nowhere. No. So here's the back, here's the front, because we used gray for the top thread. So I'm just going to trim your threads so those don't get in the way oh, later. I do that. Oh, you do it. Yeah. Sorry, you do it's it. It's part of the experience, right? Okay. I'm trying, to, trying to learn this whole thing here. I think we can finish. I think we can just keep going and finish. We can. Or do you guys need us to stop? Michelle, can you text me if people need us to stop? Yeah, I can't. I, I can't really. Look we don't at the, see any comments at right the comments now. Right now I uh, hope we're live. We are live. Okay. I, I checked that before we we did that. Okay. So don't worry about that. All right. So get this guy. Now what? So now what you're gonna do is lay it on the table. Okay. So. See how? So we got to go um, overhead for this. Okay. So. I like to do it like this. See how there's front and back and two sides? Yes. Okay, so we have to mark those. So maybe people can't see that. There's the front, there's the back, here's the side, here's the side. So essentially this is cut into quadrants now, right? Mm -hmm. So that will allow us to really get this elastic even because a common mistake is to have all your elastic in one area and the rest is slack. Oh. Okay. So we don't want that. This is the back. We should really press this seam later, by the way. Okay. Um, so wherever I attach the elastic is where I want to sew it. I want to sew it to the back seam of the pant. So I pin that, right? Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to take the pants through. You don't want your elastic to be twisting, right? So you have to pay attention to this part and then check it before you sew. This mark, on, mm. that'll be our front. 
The side seam is where? On the side. Yep. So you do that. Okay. Do I open up the, the seams there? Yeah, yeah. Make it flat. Yeah. Oh, I, you know what I didn't do? Press the seams flat. The sides. Yeah, we should have done that. But, yeah. you know, I forgot and the instructions didn't tell us. And that's why notes are good because you can remind yourself to do best techniques like pressing seams open. Okay, so I got the four quadrants. You got the four quadrants. So here's the trick. When we're sewing this, when you're sewing this, and this is in great detail in my video that Ramel will edit for you in the next few days mm -hmm. for the, pe the lounge pant. I show this in great clarity, but we're going to do it here for them in, okay. good, in good clarity as well. Sure. When you're sewing this from this quadrant to this quadrant. I'm going to stretch it. You're stretching the elastic. Ooh, okay, that's challenging. And you're, and you're zigzagging. It's not so bad. Okay. The first time always feels weird. After that, you're like, oh, that's simple. Okay. So you're just going to pull a little from the back and a pull a little in front. Okay. You're not pulling the fabric. You're um, pulling that elastic. All right, elastic, not fabric. Got it. Okay. So just get your needle down in there. I got to put the foot, foot down. Yep. Yeah. Put my foot down. And put the needle in. Yep. There. Okay. So now I'll have you grab that. Okay, and we get in position. We're gonna do. I uh, I will go overhead in, in just a minute. There, perfect. You've got it. And you want to be on this zigzag, so we left it on a zigzag because mm -hmm. this is elastic. So we want to keep it on a zigzag. And I don't do that funny thing with nope. that foot. Okay. Away right. you go. All right, here we go. Wonderful. Try to keep it, the outer edge of the foot, matching the outer edge here. You're kind of in the middle, but that's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll bring it in. Yep. There. Okay, watch your shoulder, your, nope, Ooh. stop. Okay. Stop, hit the pedal so your needle's down. Stop. Okay. Okay, I need you to move your body because you're covering what you're doing. Okay. So, here we go. Okay, there we go again. I'm going to pull your pin. Thank you. All right, hold on a second. Because mm -hmm. now... Now you got to go to the next quadrant. So find your next pin. It's down here. I think here. we just took it. No, it's down here. Okay. So pull the elastic. Mm-hmm. And you just want to make sure that your fabric is underneath there and you're sewing both layers. There you go. Okay. Perfect. No, you can't sit like that. <laughs> you got to <laughs> okay. sit over here. Okay. on camera. I'm on the, this chair, too. It's just... Yeah. Feel like it's gonna shoot me no, right you're across the room. That's why I so sew standing up. Yeah. Well, should I do that? No, I don't think so. Okay, for my safety. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go. Yep. Perfect. I can just pause. Yes, you can take as long as you need to. Wow, I felt like uh, like I need to get through. Oops, sorry, I hit that by accident. Okay. Great. Take a breath. Now go all the way up to that point. Yep. Okay. Yep. Keep going. Stop with your needle down. Here's your next quadrant. Okay. So now you're just going to pull. See? Yep. Perfect. Doing great. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yep. Hmm. Stop if you need to. Yep. Okay. There you go. Stop. You're not sewing. Something happened. You might be out of bobbin. <gasps> Get up. Oh, okay. Hit that middle pedal, please. Yep. So right away I could tell because it changed sound. Mm. And you saw me stick my finger in there and I'm like, oh, it's not sewing. Okay, so let's, yeah, you're out of bobbin. That happens to everyone. Yep. So I have another bobbin here for you. Oh, how about that? 
Does it have enough? I hope so. We probably won't hem your pants, the bottoms, yeah. tonight, um, but we're going to have the waist in. And then I can just serge the bottoms. You can wear them all week. And then maybe next week we hem. Okay. Okay. This is like amazing. You're doing so well. Oh, well, you, you make that look this so is, easy. You only have two quadrants left. Yeah, I was, I was almost, almost quite there. So okay. put your foot down. Put my foot down. And the needle there. down. And needle down. And now let's see if this is sewing. So I'm going to stick my finger in here. Don't worry about me. Do you see it? Yep, it's good. Sweet. Wow. Stop a second. Okay, that's fine. Keep going. Just want to, I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. Because, okay. We're going to make this flat. Yep, you can just keep going. Second Stop. quarter. So you got a little bit away from the top edge here, but that's okay. We're going to coax it back up. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to have to take my sweater off. Yeah. Almost there. Mm -hmm. Now go backwards. With a thing? Uh-huh. Yep. Good. Now you can take it out. Needle up. Just tap the pedal. Yep. There you go. And? Foot up. Okay, so you need, if it's caught, it means you need to tap your pedal again, because this is a mechanical machine. Oh, there you go. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Good job. So, Dang. one more piece to this is we fold it down again. Okay. So that the elastic is covered, and you don't sure. have any raw elastic on your skin because nobody likes that. Right. So I'm just going to trim away some of the excess fabric here. You steered a little bit off course, oh. but no big deal. Look, it's only that much. Okay, that's not So bad. now what we're going to do is you fold it down and you pin. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to sew close to this outer edge here, all the way around. Do I need to repin everything or? Yeah, you wanna, I think you do, because then you're not, you're, you're new to this, so you wanna pin. Okay. Yes, okay. When I made my pants, I didn't have to, but I've made how many pants, you know? Mm. Hundreds and thousands. One hundred thousand. Five hundred, twenty-five pounds, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me get out of your way. Okay, well, I, I didn't know if you were going to pin Sorry. it for me. Sorry, yeah, I, I just got to... There you go. Okay. All right, so which way do I pin? Oh, because I'm going this way, okay. Got it. This way, right? Or Sorry, what? I see you're pinning like this. You can pin any way you want. You know, it doesn't matter. Whatever's best for you, you can pin it that way. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's great. Um, just the quadrants? No, I pin all around. Okay. Because a lot of times what commonly happens is this. And you're sewing and you just sewed way too much fabric. Oh, okay. Flipping it over. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to make sure that when you're folding this over, you always check from the front before you start sewing this down. This is very pokey pokey. It's poking me. Oh. Pokey pokey. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a dance. Do that, the hokey pokey. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. There. I don't want to poke myself. So that one, that, if you hadn't adjusted that, it would have been too much fabric there. Okay. So you want to make sure you're not getting 
So did I do it right on this one or no? Uh-huh. Okay. This one is. Yeah, I see what you mean. Okay. And the cool thing about this technique is then you can sew on the elastic around once or twice, and then you have that really nice, comfortable, stretchy elastic waistband that's really flat. You don't have to do that, but I like to. I'm poking myself here okay. a lot. Well, <laughs> it's because you're a newbie. Ow. Oh, geez, hon. Did I tell you that I'm accident prone? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Here. Oh, Lord, I'm glad I didn't have you use the rotary cutter then. <laughs> yes, that was a good thing. That was Let's a good thing. Let's make sure this is good. I'm going to check it from the front. So on this pass, on this sew, you're also stretching. Doing the same thing, okay. Yes, but it's not quadrant to quadrant now. It's already been sewn in. So you're going to start at that back seam and just see how I'm stretching it? Yeah. So put your foot down, put your needle down. Putting my foot down. There we go. Put your needle down. Put the needle down, okay. Now, you want to try and sew close to where you already did. You're way up here in the middle. Oh, so I need to... It's okay. We can go in the middle. That's okay. But okay. you just have to make sure that you're stretching the fabric. Got and the, it. Or the, the elastic, I mean. Got it. Now, you're going to cover oh, the camera shoot. if you do that. Okay, okay. Go, go, go. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, you're going to help me? Nice. Yep. You're still on a zigzag, right? Yep, I'm okay. still on a zigzag. Good. At two and a half. Good. That looks good. Mm -hmm. this and make it yep. make it behave yep. right exactly okay so I, I see that I shouldn't let go until I have the needle down right you have to have your needle down okay on a mechanical machine, that's not automatic. Mm -hmm. I see now. Mm -hmm. There we go again. Yep. Oh, thank you. these don't catch and mess you up here. I sh we should have trimmed those. Mm. Sometimes they can get caught. Okay, okay, keep going. Ooh, we're out of uh, needles. Almost there. there. All the way. Yep. Let me just grab this side. This is great. This looks really great. This is it, right? Yep. You can go backwards a little bit. Wait, oh. Just a lock stitch. You don't have to pull now. Just go backwards like a centimeter. There you go. Yep. And then. And that's it. Pull it out. Yep. Whew. So you can stop here, but if you don't like that puffiness, at the top edge, let's let's show them what I'm talking about. That's a top stitch then, right? No, we would just repeat oh. what we just did. If you don't like this kind of puffier look 
at the top, just do exactly what we did again one or two more times. And then the, the waistband is really, really flat. I don't, I don't mind. You don't I'm mind not, it? Yeah, nope. These look great. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. You did so good. I turn did? them in, turn them right sides out. Okay, let me do that. Let's do. And next week we'll come back and I'll have Ramel hem these. Oh, this, so there's a second part? There's well, it's just the hem or do you okay. just want to do it now? No, Should we no. just do it now? I don't know. It'll I probably take it, about 10 more minutes. Well, or... we've been over an hour now. I know. I'm yeah, worried. I think we should. We can we can do a second part. But this is this is going to this is great. You know what we could do? We could hem them next week and add a phone pocket. Oh, yeah. Because we didn't, we didn't add any pockets, and you probably need some. I like a pocket. So that's what we'll do. We'll add a foam pocket next week, and I'll show you how Ramel hems them. So right now is a good time to try them on, see where you want them hemmed. I'm not going to do it live, right? No. It's just, <laughs> no. I'm just checking <laughs> here. Um, I am so proud of you. Good job. Aren't you proud of you? I'm proud. I, I just did it. So that, that's awesome. That's really awesome. So for all the guys out there. Yeah, you can make some pants. Yeah. We've got more mammoth flannel in the shop. You know, it's going to be cold till freaking mid-May up here in the Midwest. So don't be afraid to grab some and give it a go. This is just fabric. Like I said in the beginning, we're not building the space shuttle. It's okay to mess up. You just got to be kind to yourself so that you keep trying and keep doing it. Okay, so we will see you next Sunday for the pocket and the hemming. And in the meantime, sew your pants so you can do that part with us. All right, peace, love sewing. Thank you for watching.